Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Welcome to our online phase equilibrium modeling workshop. It is wonderful to welcome you all to this event that's finally happening. So my name is uh, Dave Pattison from the University of Calgary. And I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to all of you on behalf of the organizers and uh, presenters that you can see on this screen. So the, the other uh, presenters and co-organizers include uh, Jacob Forshaw from the University of Calgary, uh, Pierre Lenari from the University of Bern in Switzerland, uh, Dave Waters from the University of Oxford, Mark Kadic from uh, Virginia Tech, and Doug Tinkham from Laurentian University. I'd also like to uh, especially acknowledge the Faculty of Science at the University of Calgary, uh, and in particular, Stacy Chow, who has made this uh, webinar possible. We've also received some support from the societies uh, that you can see listed here, Mineralogical Association of Canada, the Mineralogical Society of Great Britain and Ireland, the French uh, Society of uh, Mineralogy and Crystallography, and the uh, Mineralogical Society of America. So as I say, welcome. So uh, we had a terrific response to the uh, to the uh, workshop. There are 638 registrants uh, from 47 countries before we had to close uh, registration. So it's a thrill to uh, welcome people from so many different places. Just a few items of uh, the uh, procedures for the Zoom webinar. The, the chat function is disabled, uh, but you can answer or ask rather questions by um, writing them in the question and answer box. And these will be posed by the moderator, who in this case is Jacob. Uh, if the webinar crashes or if there's some problem, the first thing to try to do uh, to restore connection is to log in again uh, as normal. So we thought that you might be interested to know a little, about, a little bit about uh, who you all are, who we all are. Uh, so out of this number of uh, registrants, uh, just over half of you are students. About 15% are postdocs and uh, just under a third are faculty members. So we have, uh, once everybody logs in, perhaps around four or 500 people attending the live event. Uh, this compares favorably to the 35 or so that we had registered for the in-person event when the event was canceled last year because of COVID. So I think you can truly say this is an example of a silver lining to the pandemic. This slide uh, shows the uh, number of uh, male and female participants. Just over a third are female participants. Um, it, the proportion is not quite as high in the faculty ranks, uh, but it's higher in the student ranks. And so one hopes that uh, as time goes on, this, uh, this greater balance will propagate into the, uh, into the faculty ranks. Now, as far as the presenters go, it, it couldn't be more imbalanced but I suspect this will change in the future too. This uh, graph shows uh, how much uh, experience uh, uh, registrants have had with phase equilibrium modeling. So uh, amongst the student cohort, um, uh, quite a few are novices or have uh, little experience. Uh, amongst the faculty cohort, uh, the experience uh, is a little bit higher. Um, and then there's some who have uh, little experience. This graph shows the uh, familiar, familiarity with the main uh, software packages that are being uh, discussed in the workshop. Um, it's quite evenly spread, but perhaps there's a few more users who have uh, used Perplex uh, compared to, to Thermocalc and Theriac Domino, but it's, it's fairly evenly spread. And then there's a, a cohort that haven't had uh, any experience with these, and we hope that at the end of the week, uh, you will be encouraged to do so. So this is the plan for the week. It hasn't really changed from uh, the last several months. Uh, the plan is for days one and two of the workshop uh, to be focusing on thermodynamic databases and the main phase equilibrium modeling software packages. Uh, so today there are two sessions, um, one on uh, thermodynamic databases 
and then the second talk on thermocalc and FPT. Then tomorrow we'll have two presentations on perplex and theriac domino. Uh, and then we move to days three and four of the week. And these are more concerned with factors influencing how uh, we interpret phase equilibrium modeling. So on Wednesday, uh, we have uh, two talks, one on uncertainties and best practices in phase equilibrium modeling and thermobarometry. And then uh, a, a talk on the very important uh, topic of reactive bulk composition. And uh, Pierre Linari will be uh, showing his bingo antidote uh, software that relates to that. Then on Thursday, um, we have two talks, one uh, concerned with the interplay between equilibrium and kinetics in influencing how we interpret uh, metamorphic rocks. And then the final talk is an assessment of the predictions of uh, thermodynamic modeling uh, against the natural record. So the first four days are kind of these pairs of formal talks. Friday is a bit more open and it's been organized around uh, suggestions made by the registrants. So this is what is on the uh, docket for uh, Friday based on your responses. The first thing is kind of an overview comparison of thermocalc versus perplex versus theriac domino. Uh, then we have a couple of talks uh, in which um, uh, phase equilibrium modeling is concerned with water is the only uh, volatile. The question of subsolidus versus supersolidus phase diagrams and how to handle water. And then a talk on um, phase diagrams for granulites and migmatites when you're dealing with melt, which may have been lost. Then we have a talk on mixed volatile reactions. Um, and then the next one is uh, addressing the question, what's the best chemical system for, for doing thermodynamic modeling? Uh, and then a separate topic on how to handle iron three plus. And then the last talk, uh, Pierre will explain his uh, XMAP tool software. So uh, just on a couple of philosophical points, um, you know, why is phase equilibrium, equilibrium modeling so important to us? And uh, if one, one answer is perhaps stating the obvious, but it's the main uh, means by which we provide uh, pressure and uh, temperature estimates of rocks that have been changed by tectonic and magmatic processes and how these have changed through the rock's history. And this information is needed by our colleagues in other spheres of earth science, uh, geotectonicists or uh, geodynamicists. They, they rely upon us to provide this information. The second point is that, uh, you know, after looking at metamorphic rocks and perhaps analyzing their mineral compositions, phase equilibrium modeling is probably the biggest commonality amongst all of the different studies that we do in metamorphic petrology. So if you put it together, uh, the, this phase equilibrium modeling offers terrific potential, but there's also the responsibility that we do this as well as we can because there are others who are relying on us for this information. Here are a couple of points related to kind of the presenter's philosophy for the workshop. Uh, the first one is we're all here to learn. Uh, this includes um, the presenters. Um, our emphasis is more on approach and understanding rather than, uh, than recipes. Uh, the third point is the rocks are always right. So thermodynamic modeling is modeling and models are not reality. They're simulations, but they're, uh, you know, we do the best we can, but they're, they're not reality. The fourth point is thermodynamic databases and solution models. These are fantastic accomplishments, but they're, they're not infallible. And uh, our current thermodynamic databases are probably better than the previous ones. And one hopes that future ones will be better than the ones we use uh, now. And the final point might be the most important of all. Uh, there's no substitute for careful critical analysis of the results of phase equilibrium modeling. It's not an automatic uh, kind of activity and uh, critical uh, skeptical kind of viewing of the results we consider to be uh, quite crucial.